Welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and this is the makeup look that I'm doing today. It's kind of frosty. It's blue. It's a little bit silver. It's kind of purple. It's kind of pinky. I think it's very wintry. This is the primer I'm using. It's a spray. You can't see what brand it is because the name has come off. I've almost used this up, but I'll put the brand name on the screen. I like this brush. This is a brush I've been using for foundation for a couple months. It's the e.l.f. Complexion Duo, double-sided. This is how I use for foundation and I like it a lot. It's great. For foundation, I'm going in with this Tarte one, Face Tape. It's not as bright in here as I want. I got a new different light. It's a little heart-shaped ring light. You can, I don't know if you can see the little reflection. I'm using this Face Tape one. I have the shade Fair Light 115S. I never liked brushes for my foundation before until the past year or so. I got an A Cosmex brush and I really, really liked it. It worked really well. I tried this Elf one and I love it even better. This is the concealer that I'm using. It's the LYS Triple Fix Full Brightening Concealer. And I really like this one. I like the bottle. I like the applicator. I like that it's triangle shade because I think that's cool. Putting it underneath my eyes, a little bit on my lids because I'll be using like, you know, a shadow. If you want this to last longer, you can put a primer and eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna redo my background soon. I moved my desk to the other side of my room. It's in a different place now. So now I'm filming in a different different background. I'm gonna make that wall look really nice and move all that like crap that's behind me. I'm going to use, I'm gonna try this lipstick. This is the lipstick I'm gonna be using on my lips later. I'm gonna try it as a blush, a cream blush. It's a Milani lipstick. The shade is Blossom. It's the color fetish matte lipstick. Blendy blendy. Can you even see that blush on there? Can I make this light? Maybe I should make this light a little bit dimmer. I feel like I'm a little bit washed out. Maybe like that click. Also, I'm doing this blush. So I'm doing it like up, like this, up on kind of the tops of my cheeks. Kind of blending it up a little bit. I'm also going to put some on the tip of my nose like that to give it like a wintry look. I always like doing that. I even put blush on the tip of my nose like in summertime, but especially in winter because it has that like kind of like cold look. I'm going to powder my whole face. I'm just using the loose RCMA powder. I have it in this little tub like this. Just kind of putting it everywhere. I do my eyes first. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use a pencil. I've not used a pencil in a minute and... This is the I Am Inspiring Pencil by Reeler. It's just a, it's got a spoolie on one end and a little, like, skinny little pencil on the other. And I don't really fill in my eyebrows that much. Like, just like kind of even them out a little bit and go up at the front part of the brow and just like this way for the rest of it. This is the Too Faced Love Light Highlighter. Blinded by the Light is the shade of this one. And it's just kind of like a pretty light champagne i would say like a little bit of glow and like on the tip of my nose that's most of the face makeup pretty much done um i'm gonna start on my eyes before i do my lips so i'm gonna zoom in too faced pretty rich i'm going to use a little small fluffy brush this is nothing special this is from elf i'm going to take the shade it's designer it's a light nude and just kind of put that all over my lid. I'm going in with Fancy That, a little bit of it in my crease, blending it into the crease and then up. Anything that's not on my brush, kind of just go upwards towards the brow with. Take a little bit of this same shade, put it just right underneath the lower lashes. I'm using this jumbo eye pencil from NYX. This is the shade um, Melt, it's just a white one. Putting it just on the lid part, even bringing it into kind of like the inner corner of the eye, but like still just the lid, not in the crease at all. Blend it out with your finger by just tapping like this. This is like mostly a base for just all of the blue that I'm going to put on. Um, so I'm going to take some of my lower lash line as well because I'm bringing the blue down there. I'm doing it about two thirds of the way in. So stopping about right here and just doing a thin little line underneath there. So for the blue part, I'm going in with City Color. This is Glow Pro Stellar Iridescent Highlight. I don't think this is, this is technically a highlighter, face highlight. I got in a boxy charm. The shade is Nebula. It's like a very silvery blue. I don't know how good you can see it in that light. I'm gonna take this just with my finger for now, put it all over where the white is on the top lid. It's like a really pretty, just like a bluish, I messed it up, I don't know why. I just smushed it too much and it all messed up. Patting it mostly all over the whole lid and then like tapping it out into the crease a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna use a brush for any of this because it's uh, it'll like just make it go away. It'll like sheer it off and kind of blend it. You could use a flat brush to put it on your lid if you want to, but I like using my fingers. Press it onto the lower lash line as well where the white is. 
I'm using that same fluffy brush from earlier and just kind of blending this a little bit to um, on just the bottom. I'm gonna go back into the Pretty Rich palette, the Too Faced one, and grab myself the shade Diamond Life. It's a very sparkly, kind of silvery glitter, and just put that on top. I have my New Year's Eve nails on. I did like blue and silver, like a metallic blue and silver. And I think they're very cute. Inner corner highlight right here in this inner corner section and probably also on my brow bone, I'm gonna use the shade Clutch Your Pearls. Very pearlescent reflect brow bone. I'm using like the brow bone, but I'm also kind of like bringing it farther down than I would. My current favorite mascara, I've been using it a lot. It's a little bit tricky to work with. It's the Milani one. This is a, in the blue tube. It's the highly rated lash extensions tubing mascara. I like it a lot. However, I dislike how like thin the formula is. Not like thin, how more like liquidy the formula is. So it kind of can get clumpy really easily if you let it. So just kind of be careful with it. Mascara is all done. For my lips, I'm gonna go back to that Milani lipstick that I was using earlier. It's the shade Blossom. Ignore the mascara that I got on my face. I'm gonna let it dry and then like flick it off. So I'm gonna put it in the middle and kind of blend it out a little bit. And I'm gonna use a little brush to do that. Um, to finish off this look, I'm going to put a little bit of purple lipstick on like the inside of my lips. I'm trying to give like a too cold look. You know how I got like a little pinky blush on the nose, a little bit too cold. This lipstick is this little silver one. The brand is She Glam. I don't know how long I've had this, but like any like just darky kind of purple one will do. And I want to put this on the inside of my lips, just like a smidgen, like that type of type of deal, and then blend it out with my hand. And this is like the finished look. I'm wearing my folklore sweater, but um, oh, I did not realize you could see my microphone this whole time. I wish I had folded it down a little bit. I have two more Taylor posters that are on this wall that are going to be moved to that wall pretty soon. I just have to figure out what, where at to put them. Thanks so much for watching this video. 